The dive meta of 2017 is not like it was before, but it seems like people are still playing like it hasn't changed. With more anti-dive abilities, bunker comps, and CC characters, Winston isn't as simple as diving straight headlong into enemy team. He requires a lot more game sense and situational awareness. In this video, I want to offer four alternative ways of initiating as Winston and situations where each would be most effective. The first technique is the high ground drop. With this technique, you first leap onto a high ground position. Next, you wait until the enemy team engages and then you drop behind them and initiate on the squishier backline. This technique is great because worst case scenario, if you get low, you still have leap ability off cooldown to escape. Best case scenario, you disrupt the team and get picks. The only issue with this is that you need to secure a high ground position, and oftentimes that can be challenging. Another issue is that certain parts of the map does not allow for this type of playstyle. More often than not, you will find yourself using this technique on defense since it's much easier to set up a high ground flanking position. Sometimes it seems impossible to engage the front line of the enemy because of a long sniper sight line on specific maps, or they have a super strong front line. The solution to this would be to play a flanking Winston, which consists of using alternate routes on a map to gain access to the enemy backline. Imagine yourself as a big tracer. Similar to the high ground drop, if you flank well, you can potentially save your leap to escape in case the situation goes awry. I think this is probably the most underrated technique in most Winston's playstyles, and too often we are tunnel visioned into playing one style headlong to the enemy and forget that Winston can flank too. The next technique is the soft dive, which is to not be confused with the straight on dive. A soft dive is basically diving onto the enemy with the mindset of likely falling back to cover. To soft dive, you leap directly onto the enemy, and then as soon as your bubble breaks and health starts deteriorating, you fall down to safety. Soft diving disrupts the enemy team and makes them use their cooldowns on you instead of your teammates. In addition, it also creates space and allows for your teammates to get picks. Personally, I find this technique dependent on what the enemy team comp is running. If they have a very fortified bunker, it isn't always advisable to do this. I want to emphasize again that there needs to be a means to safely fall back when doing this, since you do not have leap off cooldown. The last technique consists of diving directly onto an isolated target that is further away from the enemy team. Whether or not you can do this is highly dependent on the enemy compositions and positioning. Can you safely dive on the isolated target? Are there enemy heroes able to quickly peel you off? Similar to the soft dive, you no longer have your primary means of escape with leap. So if you leap onto a target that is not isolated, you want to make sure you can survive long enough to leap away. Next, here are some other quick tips to aid in your Winston initiation decision making. Do you have your bubble barrier available to use? In most situations, you want to always have your bubble readily available. It offers you an additional 600 points of protection, protects against abilities, and buys you additional time to ensure your leap is off cooldown. What is the enemy team composition? As mentioned earlier, the style in which you play is highly dependent on what the enemy is running. Take time to think if it's a fight you can safely take head on, or if you have to engage it more indirectly. For this example, they are running triple support with a Reinhardt. So there is no way that I will ever be able to take on the Reinhardt face to face, especially with that kind of support. My strategy will most likely be either flanking or diving on isolated targets. Another question to ask is what is your team composition? Look at your team and see what you have. If you have a full dive comp, perhaps it's okay to take on the more front ended initiations. If not, you may have to play a little more passive or less direct. In this case, I have a more static comp with only the Genji being able to dive with me and only the Ana having the healing range to support me. So I probably shouldn't play as aggressive into the enemy team as if I had a full dive comp. Another question to ask is, do you have Primal Rage? If you have Primal Rage, you can probably play a little more aggressively when diving into the enemy. It doesn't mean you should dive in mindlessly without a plan, but it means that worst case scenario, you would have an escape if needed. Also, if played correctly, you will probably get at least one pick provided you focus at least one squishy character during the engagement. So in summary, the four alternate Winston initiation techniques are the high ground drop, which consists of gaining a high ground position and dropping onto the enemy while your team engages and saving leap when needed, the flank, in which you take alternate map routes to access the enemy backline, 
the soft dive, where you dive onto the enemy to draw in cooldowns and make space while falling back to safety afterwards, and the iso dive, where you dive onto an enemy isolated target that is further away from the immediate enemy team support. Thank you as always for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Quick thanks to Spilo, a professional connectors coach for helping with this guide. You can find links to him in the description of this video. Also, if you enjoyed watching this, I encourage you to check out my 10 quick Winston initiation tricks video that's also linked to this end screen.